Hi guys, my name is Peter C. Dogba Jr., mathematics instructor at the University of Liberia and your math tutor. In my today's video, I will be discussing differential equation. And this, this lesson is a continuation of our previous lesson. So in our previous lesson, we did the definition of differential equation. We said uh, differential equation is an equation that involves at least one differential or one derivative and we also said that a differential equation is of two parts we have ordinary differential equation and uh, partial differential equations and several other concepts we talked about under the definition so in this video we want to further discuss what is a solution of a differential equation what is referred to as a general solution, what is referred to as the particular solution, and what is referred to as the singular solution. So we said the solution of a differential equation is just a functional relation uh, between the variables involved which satisfies the equation. So the solution is just a functional relation. That's the key word. It's a functional relation. So it is a functional relation now that coexists between the variables involved within the differential equation that satisfies the equation. So given you have this differential equation, the solution is this relation, which is y equals to 1 over 16, x to the fourth power, and, and so forth. So also we have the general solution. With our general solution, is a solution in which the number of arbitrary constants is equal to the order of the differential equation. So if you have a differential equation, assume y prime prime plus, I'm, I'm just assuming something, uh, 2 y prime uh, plus, so I'll say, I'll say 2 and 3 equals to 0. So assuming that we have this differential equation, let's just assume we have this differential equation. So when this differential equation is solved, uh, for example, you have or we have uh, a kind of characteristic equation, and that one you will learn that one in in our subsequent videos on the second order differential equation. So that can just be three and two. Okay, 3 and 1. So I'll make this 4. So 3 and 1. So you will have uh, arrow to be equals to minus 3 and arrow to be equals to minus 1. So if, for example, you have a second order differential equation that ends up in um, the solution of this form y equals to uh, C1 e raised to the power x plus C2 e raised to the power 2x, for example. So assuming you have a second order differential equation that ends up into this solution that we call a relation. So we, we are going to call this type of solution a general solution because there are some arbitrary constants within this solution. One arbitrary constant is C sub 1. Another arbitrary constant is C sub 2. So that is what we refer to as a general solution. So we say a general solution is sometimes called a complete solution because it's a kind of exact solution because the C, the, 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 the arbitrary constants are not being known. They are just there. So whenever you find uh, those arbitrary constants and replace them, then you're going to get the next step of solution we call the particular solution. So we said the particular solution is obtained when particular values are given to arbitrary constants of the general solution. So from this general solution, if particular values are given for C1 and C2, then you say that solution now, assuming that you have, you solve for C1 and you got, 3 and you solve for C2, you got 
negative 1. So yes, negative e raised to the power 2x. So if you look at that solution now, you have now gotten a particular solution. And this new solution was, was achieved from the general solution. So we substituted the constant within the general solution and we got the particular solution. If that cannot work, if you solve a differential equation and you just have a solution that, uh, that you know, doesn't have arbitrary constants like we have in this solution. So if you solve a differential equation and you do not end up in arbitrary constants, it means that that equation is called, that solution is called a singular solution. So a singular solution we said does not contain any arbitrary constant and also it is not obtainable from the general solution. So like particular solutions, we obtain them from the general solutions when the arbitrary constants are replaced with some values. So now for the singular solution, we said a solutions where are solutions that do not contain right any arbitrary constant that's one and also they are not obtainable meaning if it does not have a, a, an arbitrary constant but it is also not obtainable from the general solution then that solution is referred to as a singular solution so thanks all so much for watching in next video we will talk more about um the definitions and basic concepts particularly we'll look at the order and the degree of differential equation so thanks very much see you in our next video